my name is Jack Wood. I'm a director here at Plinavel. I'm a, I'm a new director. And uh, I think it's uh, one of those companies that uh, has great opportunities in the future. I joined the board of Plinavel because, again, I looked at the technology that Plinavel had developed, which I was uh, very excited by, and recognized, again, this would be a chance to be working with a company that was on what I call the leading edge of science. You're going where no one has gone before. And how do you see the parallels between, between Clinavel and other companies you've been involved in? Clinavel is like so many biotech companies in the fact that you, you develop one product, and, and sometimes it's a product, sometimes it's a platform. But you develop that one product and put your whole heart and soul into it. The concept uh, sometimes is said, you bet the whole company on that one product, that one opportunity. And I've been there before. And I know the kind of concentration that's required to bring that kind of product through the pipeline, do the clinicals that are necessary, and to get that product launched. What's most interesting is quite often when you start off on that basis with that one product, you find so many different other applications for it that it ceases to be one specific product, but it becomes many products that evolve out of that one scientific breakthrough, which is what Clinuville will do. It has huge commercial opportunities, and I'm sure that as we go down this pathway, we will identify other opportunities that might expand that number. So what is the value proposition for Afamilano Tide? Economically, at this time, if all of the indications that are currently being clinically investigated or will be investigated, $500 million. But realistically, if the other indications that could evolve, do evolve, it could exceed a billion dollars. How do you see the evolution of Clinavel? Uh, right now, I would say that Clinavel will develop strong partnerships uh, with appropriate um, large pharmaceutical firms that uh, the the product will be distributed uh, in either North America or in Europe through those firms. But you might, in fact, choose to keep some of the territories. The territories could be a segment of Europe or a segment of, of North America or a segment of the market itself because this product can be used for several different indications. And therefore, you might license the right to a large pharmaceutical firm to apply this technology for two or three indications, and the other two or three indications would be marketed by Clinuvel itself. So these are all part of the strategic thinking that will go into the marketing of this product, and those kinds of decisions will be made in this coming year. Well, thank you so much for your time, Jack. Jane, it's been my pleasure.